Are you thinking of moving to Vacaville or the surrounding areas, but you're afraid you're gonna choose the wrong neighborhood? Well, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because we are here in the North Vacaville neighborhood and we're gonna show you all this neighborhood has to offer from parks to the schools to what you can expect to find in a home. You don't wanna stick around to the very end because we're gonna show you a secret that only the locals know about. Let's go. Hi, I'm Lily Ratliff, and this is my amazing husband, Brandon Ratliff. And if this is your first time to our channel, you're gonna wanna make sure you go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell for notifications, so that you can be the first to learn about what it's like to live in and around Vacaville, as well as all the fun and awesome things to do here and the local real estate market. So Lily and I have been living in Vacaville for over 10 years now. We've been helping people just like you move to the area. We absolutely love it. Love it. We love it. Um, so whether you're thinking of moving in the next nine days or 90 days, feel free to reach out via text, email, call, or even schedule a Zoom meeting with us in the link below. So um, we'd love to help you be a part of our community. And that is actually where we're at right now. So where are we, Brandon? We're at my favorite park in Vacaville. My favorite park. Honestly, Lily and I have so many memories here. <laughs> You'll see. But um, we're at the North Alamo, North Alamo Creek Park yes. here in Vacaville, the north side yeah. of Vacaville. Um, it's pretty much actually where North Vacaville, the neighborhood itself, starts. Um, it's Alamo Creek Park, and again, as you can tell, there's just nature abounds here. There are so many fun things to do. This is a park that you're going to be seeing birthday parties at. You're going to be bringing your kids to, to play on the playground. I've seen bridal showers here. I mean, yes. anything that you can celebrate anyone ever. Mm -hmm. Or just come here for a lot of practices. I see volleyball, pick up volleyball games, wedding photos, games. high school photos. Oh, we have so many photos. Some some painful photos of our first years together uh, that maybe you'll be are they gonna make an appearance? enough to see. <laughs> but um, no, seriously, guys, I didn't have braces. It was great. <laughs> I cut my hair. It was a whole sitch. But honestly, again, we are here. It's this. This is one of the mini parks. It's very indicative of the area. Just beautiful, established trees. I mean, lots of rolling hills, nature. What else got you? You know a great Brandon? park when their city is always working on it. Have you noticed every time we come here, we live like two minutes down the street from this park. Yes. Um, and the city is always here. Mm -hmm. Mondays, Tuesdays, or today's Wednesday. They're not here at the moment, but they are always working on this park where they're mowing, yep. picking up, you know, um, mulching the front area. Just always doing maintenance on this park. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's literally always studying. I mean, we can just stop right here, right now, and just do a 360. Do your wonderful 360 that you do. I'm really good at them. this. Look, Look at how these. beautiful this is. October, fall, the leaves, the foliage, everything is so beautiful. I mean, they have a tennis court here, two tennis courts out here. They have a basketball, a smaller basketball court, but a basketball court nonetheless. So the North Vacaville neighborhood pretty much consists of two areas. Uh, the main markers there that divide them being two roads or main roads that almost run parallel to each other. The first being North Alamo, the second being North Orchard. North Alamo, we, actually, we used to actually live there. Mm -hmm. So beautiful homes built in the 1970s was sold us, which is the spacious lots in the proximity to this beautiful park, right? And so yes. those homes are gonna range from 1,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet, mm -hmm. but just the amount of rooms on the street and just the spacious lots that you get. Yes. And if you go further down North Alamo, you get to the oh, good yes, stuff. Good point. Hidden Valley, custom homes, mm -hmm. vineyards in the back. Yes. Pools, you name it. Yeah. So if you have a larger family, or you just again, you want maybe more custom premium features. We're talking 3,000 square feet or more. That might be a best bet for you. However, you be warned now there, they come up few and far between. You can find a home here if you have, I don't know, two awesome local realtors to help you out. Now, however, I will say to those, you know, you can get slightly bigger homes off of North Alamo. That's a slightly different story once you get to North, uh, North Orchard, excuse me. Yeah, so North Orchard area, there are homes there that were built in the 1950s, mm -hmm. a little bit smaller. Those are your starter homes. These are gonna range from 800 square feet to around 1,500 square feet. Mm -hmm. Again, a little more congested, but like I said, perfect starter home. You live there for three to five years. Mm -hmm. Then you go further down North Orchard, similar homes to North Alamo, built in 1970s, mm -hmm. about 
1,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet, but those spacious lots that you get on that side. Yes, and again, another good thing to point out too about those um, smaller North Orchard homes, right. they're also great to maybe invest in, rent out, or even again, if you just want a smaller space and you wanna be in the area, yep. and you wanna have a, maybe a smaller price point, then those are gonna be great homes for you as well. But you will find predominantly here in the North Vacaville neighborhood, there's just a lot of families that live here, and so most of those houses reflect that lifestyle. Yes. If you go further down North Orchard, that actually runs into the country. Yes, it does. People do use North Orchard a lot as sort of, again, like gateway to the country. And North Orchard in general is a very busy street just because there are, uh, what, two elementary schools, a preschool, and the middle school that's either directly on North Orchard or right off of North Orchard. Yes. So just be mindful when in the morning yes. around school time, there is going to be more congested, more traffic, mm -hmm. kids drop off and after school as well. Yes. Um, so if you're a parent, you're probably already aware of this. Mm -hmm. This is normal, but it's no different here in our area. Yes. And then there's another uh, request that we do see is why people sometimes want the North Alamo Road is because it's a dead end. So the people that are in that neighborhood are there because they live there as opposed to passing through or trying to get somewhere else. So now, before we take you to this beautiful neighborhood that we're just bragging about, letting yeah. you know all the great things about, we want to share what the schools are like. Yes, yeah, so depending on where you live in North Vacaville, uh, your kids would be going to either one of three elementary schools. Uh, for the most part, if you're in North Alamo, it will be Alamo Elementary School, which has a B-plus rating on niche.com. Depending on where you live on North Orchard, it's either going to be Hemlock Elementary, which has a B rating on niche.com, or you're going to go into, or your kids are going to be going to- <laughs> No, them. Yeah, you're <laughs> starting again. No, your kids are going to be going to North Orchard Elementary School, which has a B-plus rating on niche.com but again you want to go ahead we always let our clients know you know look at the vacaville unified school district's website yes. they have a school boundary map there so you can actually see and plug in the potential address and where your children would go to school and we're talking about middle schools and high schools so either area they'll both go to the jepson middle school yes and that got a b plus rating on niche.com and the high school is vacaville high school yes go bulldogs right <laughs> oh, oh. And they Sorry. got an A minus on niche.com. So great schools <laughs> academically. Good job, Lily. Yeah. You still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but like as Brandon mentioned, Vacaville High School is not only the first public high school in Vacaville, but also the highest rated. Now, before we go into the neighborhood, we're going to jump on my computer. And I'm going to show you through Google Maps a little bit more about the area. All right, so welcome to my Google Maps. I just wanted to show you before we go into the neighborhoods, uh, just again, on a map, kind of give you a, a sense of what the shops are around and sort of, you know, orient you to the neighborhood because I know sometimes it does just help to see on a map. So as you can tell, this is all of Vacaville here. I want to point out before we go into the North Vacaville neighborhood, again, this is uh, Interstate 80. This is that major freeway that goes throughout Vacaville. It connects Sacramento. That's this way uh, to San Francisco, which is this way. Um, so if we go ahead and just go on in here, this is where we're gonna get to North Vacaville. Surprise, surprise, it's on the north side of the freeway. Uh, now you will see here too as well, there are these slew of homes here that, you know, they're technically still considered North Vacaville because again, they're on the north side of Vacaville. However, you will notice um, if you get actually a little bit closer here, we zoom on in, that this is actually, this is Alamo right here, right? And it doesn't actually turn into North Alamo until you get to this West Monta Vista Ave. Um, and the same is true for Orchard. So that's where you kind of get that North Vacaville neighborhood name from. I mean, it's right when these streets turn into, instead of Alamo, North Alamo, uh, and instead of Orchard, right? Like right here, this is North Orchard. But I'm just going to show you really quickly the shops that are around. Again, as soon as you get off the freeway, this is going to be your only like really biggest shopping center per se in the area. You're going to have a couple different stores. You know, the ones that we use the most or go to the most are actually the, um, the restaurants here. All of these are an excellent choice. We love Donut Queen here. Uh, for us, it's one of the best uh, donut places, not the best donut places in Vacaville. Uh, Jamrock Island Cuisine. They actually just started uh, or just opened about a year or so ago and they are absolutely delicious. I actually told we had for lunch today. And then uh, Rose Garden Thai, really yummy place. Been here for a while. People love it. 
and Journey's Coffee. Been here for about five years or so, maybe even more, and it's really become uh, a huge uh, local hub. We have another good thing too about Journey's, they have not just coffee, they have teas, and they also have breakfast. So if you need some food, they even have lunches. You can order ahead on their app uh, and uh, get some food there too. Uh, another thing to mention, right, you have pizza, you have a gas station, you have a furniture store, uh, Kitty Academy of Vacaville, that's actually a preschool. Uh, so if you need some daycare, it's nice to have that there as well. Um, Hello Furniture Mattress actually is, uh, it just went out of business, so that's probably gonna be replaced pretty soon with something else. Uh, but this um, Home Goods store, it's Serena and Lily, they are still there. And then another big one that we go to a lot is this Rock and Jump right here. And for those of you that aren't familiar, we pretty much go there to uh, always put the kids down to sleep um, because it, they have so much fun. I mean, you see here it says amusement center, but it's pretty much like a, a trampoline park, if you will, indoor park, and the kids love it there. Now, the main place or the main supermarket uh, of this North Vacaville area is going to be right here. You see it says Maya Supermarket. Um, it's actually just opened a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe a month now at this point, and it is awesome. Uh, it's technically a Mexican supermarket. You know, they have a taqueria there, they have tamales, uh, but they have everything. I mean, I they have, even have some pharmaceutical items, so this is just a great place to know about because this is gonna be your closest place. Uh, there also is the, um, a fire station there if that's uh, something that you want to be you know close to emergency services and then obviously you have a 7-eleven uh, and another gas station oh and another real quick thing i want to mention you actually have a cuban cafe here as well as a pastry store and the kids love going here as well the cuban cafe actually um, serves um, frozen yogurt as well so just something to know so there are all the shops that are going to be kind of you know, immediately near to you. It is worth pointing out, and I'm not going to, uh, I'll dive into this uh, more on our downtown video, but like I said, you pretty much take Buck all the way down here, and you're gonna be right smack dab in the middle of downtown Vacaville, and that's where you got a lot of the food. Uh, again, if you wanna kinda know more about the downtown area, be sure to check out our video. But just wanted to show that to you so you kind of get a sense. Real quick before we jump to the neighborhoods, this is going to be the Alamo Elementary School. Again, you notice it's actually off of South Orchard here. And then as we get uh, further north here on North Orchard, right here on Hemlock, if we scoot on in, you can see this is the Hemlock Elementary School. And uh, right here is where that middle school is, Willis Jepson. And then if you, again, if you were to live, depending on which part of North Orchard, all the way to the north end here, that's where the Orchard Elementary School is. So a lot of times, you know, this is pretty much walking distance. So if you're in this area, uh, depending on what age your kids are, we do see a lot of kids bike or walk to school. And then of course, right here on West Monta Vista, this is the Vacaville High School. So you can see they're all pretty close together. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and jump back. Brad and I are gonna show you uh, the neighborhood here off of North Alamo. So we're here on Edgewater, which is right off of North Alamo. And again, North Vacaville neighborhood, it's actually considered one of the most highly desired, highly coveted neighborhoods in all of Vacaville. Uh, and you can actually see it in the home ownership. It's not just because of the location, which we kind of went over, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, right ahead of us, we can see the hills. I mean, you might even, let's do a 360 and show them. Sound effect, boom, right there. Oh wait, Whoa. oh, we will. We're gonna show you some <laughs> of the hills that the North Vacaville neighborhood has to offer. Look but at this, the creek right behind us. When people come here, they stay here. A really fun fact about this neighborhood is that over half of the home owners here have actually bought their home before the year 2000. So again, we say people come here to stay here, we mean it. And another thing that's really important to note is that there are not a lot of rentals here. I mean, these are primary I mean, homes. Which is nice, right? I mean, if I'm a homeowner and I bought this house, I'm staying here forever. Mm -hmm. I don't want renters renting the house out to someone who's... So you can tell when you walk to these neighborhoods, you'll be able to tell. We'll show you. Mm -hmm. It's real pride of ownership. People oh, love so their homes. They take appeal. care of it. And, and it's, it's, I think one of my favorite things about this neighborhood too, 
is that it, there's so much character in each home. Um, not only is it part of character as far as or part of ownership, when you can see just little things that the owner has done, you can actually like, get a sense of the owner's personality in each home. Right. There's so many cool things that have done. And that's one of the things that you'll see here in the North Vacaville area as well, or North Vacaville neighborhood, is just those distinct characteristics that you don't get anymore really in the new construction homes. Oh yeah, you get none of this in new construction. None of this. <laughs> None of this. We, we, we almost went down that route, um, mm -hmm. but actually we ended up buying our North Alamo house just because one, the proximity to the park, mm -hmm. and two, just the setting you get here. We're walking towards the hills right now, you guys, and maybe you can see from behind me all the different trees, mm -hmm. and you don't have this on the other side of town. And again, I grew up on the side of town. I'm not bashing mm -hmm. the 95687 side. I grew up on that side of town, and it's all I knew for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but this is kind of... This is home. Yes, here. but like you mentioned though, there is a trade-off, right? This is an older established neighborhood. Most of these homes were built in the 1970s um, and you will not find homes as large as say the new construction homes. Usually here, the lots are gonna be bigger sizes. Probably they average around 7,000 square feet. Whereas if you look at the actual homes itself, you know, they can be single story homes. Uh, they can also be multi-level or um, double story. Tri-level. Tri-level, yes. You do see that a lot because they're around the hills. Uh, but again, you're going to be seeing, you know, probably anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 square feet. Not a lot of homes here are over 3,000 square feet unless they're the custom homes. And if that's the case, you're looking at definitely a higher price point than what you're typically going to find here in Bacaville. Yeah, like you said, these are the 70s, right? So these are older homes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have, you know, kept up with the times. They are renovating them, so they look yes. newer. Um, but some, you're going to have the walls. You're going to have those, a lot, you know, of separation. a lot of separation. Was before you the didn't huge have trend of open floor layout. Open it all up. Yeah, I mean, that some houses... not a thing in the 70s. Apparently. Some houses have opened them up, but again, let's go this way. So you can see, this is where we are, guys. These are, these are open hills right behind us. Mm -hmm. You can see these houses right, right here to the side of us. That's their view every day. No rear neighbors. No Absolutely rear neighbors. Absolutely beautiful. And another thing, actually, Brandon, looking at these hills reminded me, yes. you know, us living here as well, we know about this very well. Yes, we do. We've lived in the North Vacaville neighborhood now for over five years you do have a higher fire risk. I mean, it just is what it is because you are next to the hills. Uh, you are gonna be more prone to either have evacuation or your power to be out. Come on! Uh, just because you know, pg and &E, our local carrier here, they do those planned power shutoffs where if it's a higher risk in your area, which is typically here versus other places in Vacaville, then they'll shut off your power. It doesn't happen that often, but it is just something to consider. Again, I mean, it really hasn't deterred anything or anybody here this is no. still like i said one of the most coveted places to be in vacaville i mean the people do not sell these homes and we need it i mean when we look back at the homes sold well, in vacaville well, from june right yes there was yes. what 500 it was 549 homes have been sold in vacaville since june and 10 percent of those homes were from this area alone right so again i mean it is hard it's, to come by these homes but you can do it we actually helped a first-time home buyer oh yes. buy a home about six months ago mm -hmm. on one of our listings here in the um or the North, or orchard. North orchard and they got one you know they, they, they got lucky. we made it happen um Maybe they, maybe they were good friends of ours yeah. but um <laughs> no they I mean they, they they got they got the home and good size lot uh, no, absolutely. Um, but you do bring up a good point. If you're a first time home buyer, you know, it is, this is, I feel like, I wouldn't necessarily say aspirational, but we always like to make sure that people's expectations are aligned. We do see a lot of people in these neighborhoods, they're going to be a second or third time home buyer. Usually right. you're good seeing point. conventional financing, you're seeing people with substantial down payments, right? And then sometimes it's hard for people with FHA. Um, I mean, we even tried to get in this neighborhood when we were FHA first time home buyers. And we just couldn't do it. We were getting outbid. Cash investors were coming up, swooping up right. homes. Remember? That's right. It yes. Very in defeating. 2014. But what, we, what did we do? We bought, we a, bought home. a house in 2014 on the 95687 side. Mm -hmm. The other side, of, the other side of town. Really cute home, though. Really cute little cute three bedroom, home. one bath. Everything was fixed up, perfect. But to your point, four years later, yes. we sold that house. We bought the house on North Alamo. And here we made it. Two years after that, we sold that one and bought pretty much. Our dream, dream homes. So um, it is possible, but we just want to make sure that everyone's expectations are aligned. But if you can go about it strategically and you have some help, 
with some great realtors, we can make that happen. And that's why it's very important to have local roots, local realtors in your corner. Because mm -hmm. we've helped people buy and sell in both areas, North Alamo and North Orchard. Mind you, we've lived here for five years now. Yeah, we still live here. We still live here. And I would consider us local experts, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have spent time knowing, you know, not just the houses, but the people and the community in and around it. So if you have any questions about the North Vacaville neighborhood, let us know. We'll be more than happy to help. Now that we showed you homes in the North Alamo area, let's go explore North Orchard. All right, let's go. So we are here in the North Orchard area. Right behind us is the park. Mm -hmm. And right here, parallel here is Crestview uh, Street. Yeah, so in, in North Orchard Park, our kids do love it. I will say they like Alamo Creek Park a little bit more, uh, but you will find there's actually a couple more tennis courts here, but a playground as well, but it's not quite as big as Alamo Creek, but still a very beautiful park as well yes so the type of homes you get here mm -hmm. you're looking at the four bedroom three hundred three baths or 1800 square foot homes yes. your lot size is going to be a little bigger on 7,000 square foot lot mm -hmm. ample space oh yes as opposed to well so if you look at like a typical vacaville home uh they're about you know about the same home 18 1900 square feet but the lot size is average seven or six thousand square feet so basically you're getting a thousand square feet more in your lot when you come to that north vacaville area what do i do with all that space well i'm gonna tell you people have <laughs> rv space here they have sheds here they have pools mm -hmm. um i've even seen adus yes. they convert part of the areas for maybe their their in-laws or um their mother who's a little older playgrounds for their playgrounds kids. for their kids i mean there's ample space but that is something that you see here right people who come here they really do appreciate the outdoors they like that extra space that it gives you you have more space in between your neighbors which again is something you don't have as much in those new uh new construction homes i mean there's one right now on the market and it literally no joke has a 2500 square foot lot so you think about that in comparison to the seven, eight thousand square foot lot you're gonna get here, it is a dramatic difference in how you live. Yes, you could pass your neighbor a bar of soap. Yes, you can through the window if you Stronger had to. Stronger community if you think about it that way. <laughs> yeah, um, but just this is paradise here. So let's talk about price, right? So again, highly desirable area. When you look at homes sold this past year, since June in 2022, the median home price for all of Vacaville is 615,000. Now, if you look at homes in the North Vacaville neighborhood, that median price point jumps up to $661,000. Wow. So almost a $50,000 difference. So wow. when we say it's coveted, we mean it. You can see it in the price point. So what's the reason for the $50,000? Is it worth it? What's that about? I mean, I think I would have to go back to probably the most cliche real estate saying of all time, Brandon. Do you know what that is? Location. 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 There you yes, go. Yes. 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 So yes, you're paying a little bit more, you guys, but for what you get here, the area, the quality of living, it's stunning. And again, you definitely want to make sure that you, you know, weigh the pros and cons you know not every neighborhood or any home for that matter is always going to check your boxes you know you might want more square footage inside your home that's the case right south town maybe or the south part of vacaville might be better fit for you or who knows i mean again it's part of that is talking to your real estate agent going to see those homes getting a sense of what you want and kind of going from there so that way you feel most confident with that you know most likely the largest purchase of your life all right and one thing that you're not going to get over there that you mm -hmm. will get over here is the trails the hiking trails yes. you know the hill views you Say can more. you can mountain bike um we're gonna take you on those trails in just a minute so you can kind of get an idea of yeah let's go what show that looks we'll like show you some insider trails so you can really get a sense of what it's like to live here and see if this is going to be your kind of vibe or not all right let's go let's go all right, guys, so we're on one of our favorite trails. Mm -hmm. When we used to live in the North Alamo area, this was one of our go-to spots we every still day. Come here. Yeah, we do. Just not as often. <laughs> yeah, not as often. Um, but so this this actually area, this trail is right off Cheyenne Street here mm -hmm. in Vacaville. All right, so it's on the North Vacaville area. Yep, and you enter in. Enter in off right of that Cheyenne way. It Street. Looks like the court is just a turn here. A little loop-de-loop. -loop. So as we keep going here, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a little 360. I'm going to stop in the middle and show you. So this little bridge here 
is how you get to the middle school, Jepson Middle School. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the families that live in this area, their kids will backpack, walk, yes. right into the school. That's what I mean. We used to as well. We would take the dogs over there because there's a nice big open field, or mm -hmm. you take the kids out and you can play. So that's just, again, one of the many different variant of trails that you can do here. Or you can go that, that way, way, which is what we're about to do. And you can take, we see a lot of people do a bike here. So you want to be careful if you have like, if you're one of those people who always have your ear pods in. That's a good point. Be careful because people are biking here. Kids are learning how to bike here. So just make sure you're you're staying aware. Yep, Unagi. But yeah, Unagi. Any for anybody who, who watches Friends religiously like I did and used <laughs> to. Uh, but no, one of the great things about this trail right now and why we love it so much, it connects to so many different parts in the North Vacaville neighborhood. It actually goes all the way up to a hill, which we are going to show you at the very end of this video. Uh, but it also connects North Vacaville or North uh, Alamo Road, excuse mm -hmm. me, to North Orchard. So, I mean, as you can tell, like I said, it's just beautiful, pristine, just so many memories coming back here. All the trees, especially when the when the creek is full. So down below, mm -hmm. normally this creek. Just, uh, do you see any water lily at all? I mean, we just had our first <laughs> yeah. rain. It literally just happened uh, yesterday. <laughs> the first time in the season. But it's really pretty walking this and just here in the tranquil water. Gorgeous. Just stream down. It's. Mm -hmm. it's but beautiful. again, we see a lot of people come here. A lot of families come here because there's so many different places and trails for you to go. You know, right now again, we're on a bike path. But it, Brandon, you can even show them. All right. This is perfect for people who want to mountain bike. There's a lot of up here. There's a lot of trails and dirt trails for those of you that want to mountain bike or for someone who say has toddlers and boys who want to get dirty. It is a perfect place. Our kids used to like to go up there and then slide, slide down. down. Brandon would love it, especially because, you know, he he loves dirt on clothes. I do not. Yes, he does. He does. See this collar? It is pristine, okay? No, but seriously, again, look how beautiful this is. This is what you're going to get. I mean, people here literally walk every single day. And this actually is what we took when we went to Candy Cane Lane. Now, yes. what is Candy Cane Lane, Brandon? That's a very awesome local thing that you need to know about if you're planning to move in this neighborhood. Well, if you love lights and you love neighbors who go okay. all out, this and place- if you love Christmas? Christmas. Christmas? This place is lit mm -hmm. up. I mean, to the nines. I mean, this the whole house. I mean, the energy bills off the chains. Yes. Because there's not like one it's speck. It's technically two streets off of North Orchard. Yep. Candy Cane Lane. But it's absolutely magical. We take the kids. A lot of times you can just drive through and look at all of the homes or you can get out and walk. Like little kids will be out there, entrepreneurs, if you will, selling hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. Doing all this stuff. And it's just such a fun time. You can go. Again, just you bring your own again, special grape just juice. Another thing that Vacaville does community wise, come together and just enjoy, you know, friends and family i mean everyone yes. comes here pretty this. much starts what the day after thanksgiving and it's up mm -hmm. through the new year yep and we take our kids literally like i said oh five six times mm -hmm. probably more you know depending it's just a great way to pass the time enjoy things and just enjoy the holidays maybe a hot toddy mm. you know many adults have a little special beverage i love it so again like i said if you live in this area you can walk this trail mm -hmm. here Go to Candy Cane Lane. Or bike it. Or bike it. And, and again, you can connect those two areas. So a lot of people do that because again, it's just- A little squirrel. Oh, oh. whoa, that's guy. That's very typical of what you will see here. All right, so let's take you to the top of this hill. We'll show you guys what it's all about. And then afterwards, we'll show you some of the neighborhood and what you can. And Sorry, also I gotta pump ring. myself up because this is an arduous hill. This journey, man. Watch this. Wait till we get up there. You're going to see. It's really cool though, guys. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Before we get to the top, we're going to pause the video. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to drive around all of the neighborhoods so you can see exactly what you're going to be getting yourself into and what it looks like. So you can sort of, again, gauge and see what it would be like for you. All right. Let's take a look.
So as promised, that was the North Vacaville neighborhood. Gorgeous as as promised. Yes. And I'm wondering, where are we? Well, like we told you, we went to the very top. We might have had to take a minute or two to catch <laughs> our breath because now we are a 30 something year olds. But I mean, this is the stunning, breathtaking view that can literally be, you can be minutes to right outside your doorstep if you live in the North Packerville neighborhood. This is, again, I feel like the creme de la creme. This is, when we say location, 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 this is it. This is one of the few spots where you can go in Vacaville and get this view. And Brandon, I mean, I'm not sure if it's possible to do a 360, but where we're looking straight ahead is pretty much there. the exact same view as we I will risk my us. life for you. There we go. Because Please I can Please just don't be that person who dies. No. Taking a selfie. No. I am going to get up here, though. And I am going to do a 360. Oh, there you are. I'm here. That's so much taller than you. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Keep going. Look at that. <laughs> be safe. We have children. So that was the North Vacaville neighborhood. We really hope you enjoyed this video and again, it gives you a little bit of a better understanding of what to expect when coming here. If you wanna see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe, tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to learn about what it's like to live in and around Vacaville, the surrounding areas, all the local hotspots and our local real estate market. Yeah, so if you think we're making a move here, don't forget to send us a text, mm -hmm. give us a call, email, or even feel free to schedule a Zoom meeting with us in the description in the link below. Yes, and if there's anything else you want us to cover, if you have any questions, please either reach out, drop a comment below. We'd love to engage with you and make you feel like a part of this community. All right, until the next video. Bye.